Hey guys, now we are going to do a statistics on R Studio, this part, part 4, number 4, uh, and we are also using R Studio and see how, it, how it's going to turn out. So, it says to consider the normal distribution with parameters mu equals 100 and sigma equals 15, and part A says what are the mean and standard deviation. Well, they already give it to you, it's 115. Now I'm going to skip part B and do part C. Part C says to generate a simple set of 1000 from this distribution. So because it's a normal distribution, then we're going to have to type the command R norm x n is 1000, the mean is 100, and standard deviation is 15. Control enter and find x, control enter, and this is your 1000, your the simple sum of 1000, of 1000. Now let's go back to b. b says to plot the density from 55 to 145. Then what you can do is, you say x is equal to 55, column 145, control enter, you plot the density and put it as x because x is your 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 density actually so you click control enter and here is your density um, I made some videos earlier um, you guys can watch about how to type in your interval so you will see why I, I did x equal 55 column 145 now the import in part D, it asks for your mean, your simple mean, and your standard deviation. So that I'm going to compute in R to compare with what I found in A. So my mean is going to be mean of x, enter, 100, and standard deviation of x, control enter, 26.41. That's good. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite this. Uh, your, now, part E says to plot a relative frequency histogram for your sample and superimpose the probability density from part B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the normal. So it's x equals to R and R norm 1000, comma, 100, comma, 15. Now you don't have to do that, you can just continue, but I decided to do it again. And I'm going to type hist for histogram of x breaks equals 100, comma, frequency frec equals false, oh, false. And here I have my histogram. And now this says that I need to find, I need to superimpose it with the part B. So first I'm going to, I have to get that interval again. So instead of having x equal to 55, column 145, I'm going to say index equals to 55, column 145. Actually guys, to, to let you know one for, to let you know something, uh, if you type x equals 55 to uh, 145, it might not like it because they, it doesn't like you to use the same variable. So you have to use a different command, so that's why I use index instead of x. And now, the code for the, to superimpose it, is actually lines, line, and index. comma, 1 divided by the square root, the, oh, comma, the square root, yeah, the square root of 2 times pi, 2 times pi, times 15, times ex, ex, negative 
index minus 100 power of 2 divided by again 2 times 15 to the power of 2 and then comma I'm gonna put color equal red so red and then enter and there's a nice line right here now guys this code that I put here if you look carefully this code here is actually it's actually your the function for the uh, norm for a normal distribution it's actually a 1 over the square root of 2 times pi which is two t with the square root of 2 pi times sigma yeah that's your and then times times your e to the power of negative x minus x bar which is mu quantity squared over 2 times sigma squared that's actually the function the distribution function for a normal distribution if you look in your book you see what i wrote here in, from here to here is basically the function of the the distribution function of the normal distribution basically it's nothing actually pretty fancy it's just that now now we need to do part f i want to do it before i finish so part f says to use r to plot the density for your sample and superimpose the probability density from part b so again right i'm going to go again r norm 1100 when 15 control set control enter I'm going to plot the density of X control enter and here I have that and then I'm going to say that X is equal to 55 145 And index is equal to 55, 145. Actually, I don't need down. So I just enter, enter, enter. And I'm going to create the lines. And it says index, comma. 1 divided by parentheses sqrt square root of 2 times pi times 15 times exponential up and then you have a negative then the index minus 100 to the power of 2 divided by and then open parenthesis 2 times 15 power of 2 1 2 comma color equal I'm going to say blue and then here I have a nice normal line. Look how pretty that thing is. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty nice, very pretty. So yes, guys, this is how uh, you would do the these types of statistics in R using R, and I would have also later do number five and number six and to show you how it is done it's not difficult 
uh, it's probably time consuming, yes. If you know your function, your density function, then you, it will be time consuming, but you will be able to do them. So, don't give up on our studio yet. I'm sure you can do it. Thank you for watching my video, uh, and I will see you later. Bye.